Hey guys, Uncle Ray, welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. On this channel, we cut through the hype and the noise, and I give you the non-biased information you can use to hopefully capitalize on the biggest opportunity in history, and I believe it's this current bull run. In this video, we're going to dive into Aerodrome. There was some new bullish news created by Coinbase. So we're going to talk about it, and we're going to take a look at three different charts, and we're going to kind of compare where maybe Aerodrome is right now to maybe where PancakeSwap and Uniswap, the two biggest competitors, where they were when they were launched in the last bull run. And then we're going to take a look at uh, the market cap of where you can compare where they're at now and get some price predictions. So I think this is going to be a pretty interesting short video, but hit the like button. Let's dive into Aerodrome. Now, in my opinion, the bulk of everyone's money should be in really three different sectors. Gaming, real world assets, and AI. I think that's going to be the most consistent big money and primarily in the newer projects if you're looking for the biggest risk reward and the highest probability of success. Also, I think everyone should have a very solid meme coin. Not telling anyone to go chase, you know, the new, you know, million meme coins that are launched constantly, but to take a look at maybe Pepe or with or something like that. I think you're going to get the bang for the buck. Now, that being said, if I was going to look for another project outside of one of those sectors, it's got to be base. If base had a token, I would have, I'd be all in with a lot of big money. It would probably be my biggest holding. Now, if you watch this channel at all, you know that I've always said, whether we like it or not, the legacy banks, the Wall Street, and the governments, primarily the U.S. governments, pick winners and losers. You've got Aerodrome, that is the central trading and liquidity marketplace for base. So base doesn't have a token. The money should consistently fly into the decks. A lot of people would say it's Brett the meme coin. Well, that's something to consider. That being said, BlackRock owns like 30% of Coinbase. Coinbase launched on Wall Street. You can buy the, the stock. Something to consider. Me personally, put my money in crypto. But if you're a long-term investor, especially with some big money, you might want to look at the stock of Coinbase. Now, here's what got me going and, and why I wanted to make this video is Missouri, which has great research. And guys, if you want to understand tokenomics and which projects get dumped on, go to Missouri. It's free and you know you can track like when a project dumps and the, the total market cap and, and how that's flowing. Anyway, Coinbase just launched CBBTC, which is basically Coinbase BTC. BTC. It's an ERC-20 token, and it's one-to-one -one with Bitcoin. And Coinbase has the custodial platform to host, say, someone's uh, CBBTC. And then you can use their Rails and do DeFi basically with your B, uh, Bitcoin. Now, you can already do that with Ethereum. And before I uh, mention the rest of this, I just want you to think about something, guys. No matter what project you are investing in, if you're considering hodling, do yourself a favor. Go do some research on the, the people that are dominating whatever sector it is. If it's cloud storage and you think, for example, ICP is going to rule the world, well, at least go and read the roadmap and the game plan of AWS and Google and Microsoft, because then you might realize that this new tech is, is going to be dominated by the big players. Same with banking. If you think cross-border payments or, you know, uh, there's a new project out there, 
that's going to take over, you know, payments. Well, go do yourself a favor. Go to J.P. Morgan, FIS Global, SWIFT, read their roadmap, understand the ISO tokens totally. It's non-biased, and you'll realize the same power players are going to dominate. Now, that being said, that custodial service with Coinbase is probably going to be the biggest in the world or one of the top contenders because the money of Wall Street is going to roll in and out of Coinbase through, uh, you know, Coinbase by the way of being backed by BlackRock. A lot of BlackRock's assets are going to be custodial, have that use that service, that custodial service. So it's something to consider. Now, right now, Aerodrome has 73% of the total DEX volume on uh, base. And the total value locked is like three and a half times that of its next biggest competitor, which is Uniswap. So here's my thinking, guys. And we're going to take a look at the chart. In the last bull run, Pancake swap exploded due to all the, you know, the, the swapping volume from Binance. And that could be a project to take a look at, no doubt. So when you look at Pancake Swap, look at this, guys. In the last bull run, you could have easily bought Pancake Swap at like 25 cents and it pumped to over 43, $44. Heck of a move. When you look at Uniswap, which I think Uniswap by far, especially here in America, is the the platform, the DEX that everyone uses. Same thing. You could have bought early, early pre bull run for under way, way under three dollars, more closer to two dollars, and it ran to forty four, forty five dollars. Now let's look at Aerodrome. Aerodrome, in my opinion, probably will be one of the top decks, period. And as Coinbase starts to get people to onboard into Coinbase and Coinbase Wallet and their new wallet uh, and push people into using Aerodrome, I think it's going to be a power player. And I definitely feel like it should outperform PancakeSwap and Uniswap, which I think would be very good projects to stack in this bull run however why stack the older horses when you can stack the newer horses back by blackrock and coinbase so if you look it came out of the gate guys this thing ripped it pulled back and it ripped again it's already hit two dollars almost uh two dollars and 35 cents well right now it's at 64 cents and i believe it's probably going to pull back a little more and it seems to have found a bottom. Now, it may not have, but let's just kick around some potential of price predictions. This is not financial advice. Take a look at this, guys. If Arrow catches uh, Pancake Swap, which it's already, excuse me, it's, it's really close to doing, it's, you're only going to double your money, you know, two times your money. But if if aerodrome gets to just the market cap of the last bull run of cake that's a 17x i can't imagine if we have a full on altcoin season and trump wins the election and you know crypto pumps like we all expect that arrow will not at least go to where cake went in the last bull run 17x isn't bad doesn't mean it will, not financial advice. Now, here's what I think is the most consistent thing to look at. Um, I really believe that um, Uniswap, excuse me, guys, I should already had this set up. I apologize. Uniswap, to get to where it is now, guys, I find that virtually impossible that you're telling me in altcoin season when everything is ripping. If that happens, like we expect it to happen, that Arrow as a, a the most dominant DEX for base, that it can at least get to where Unif Uniswap is now. 
Well, guys, that's almost a 13x. Now, if it gets to where Uniswap went in the last bull run, which we expect Uniswap to do a lot better, that's a 5758x. So I can't imagine Aerodrome not doing somewhere in between at least. And the extreme upside would be that Aerodrome starts to dominate and it gets a higher market cap than Uniswap and PancakeSwap in this bull run. And if it becomes the dominant player, it can set the bar for the biggest market cap. So who knows, maybe 60, 75 X. Not saying that's going to happen. However, if it does happen, Anywhere close, guys, do yourself a favor. Start taking some profits. If you don't take profits, you'll become the profits. And guys, no matter what, 99.9% .9 of all altcoins, actually 100%, are going to drop minimum 80, 85%, if not 90, 95% when this bull runs over. So if you're thinking about hodling, I would highly recommend you reconsider. Now. Let me know what you think in the comment section, but I really believe that people are sleeping on Aerodrome because Base doesn't have a token, so the money, the dominant DEX is Aerodrome. I really believe this is a very solid blue chip play. So let me know what you think. And guys, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's only $250 for three Zoom or phone calls. If you need some help or some answers to what you're looking to do, reach out. I think it's well worth your while. I, I, I set the bar very low as far as the price so that I can help as many people as possible. And if you need that help, reach out. However, if you don't take me up on that offer, do yourself a favor. Get yourself a game plan. Do some independent, non-biased research and take profits or you'll become the profits. Let me know your thoughts. Hit the like button and come back and subscribe and be part of this community. Take care, guys.